Good morning. Um, today, I'm excited to present a new topic to you. We're starting our last unit in seventh grade science. It's called Inheritance and Variation of Traits. So today, um, for your assignment, you have to watch a five-minute video about DNA. But first, I wanted to introduce you to some new vocabulary. Okay. Our unit title, Inheritance and Variation of Traits, is a long one, so I thought it was worth breaking down. We're going to be looking at heredity, and heredity means that traits are passed from parents to their offspring through reproduction, okay? And the study of heredity itself, when we're in biology and science, it's called genetics. Genetics refers to genes, not denim genes, but um, the genes in our DNA, and it's G-E-N-E. -E. Heredity leads to inheritance, and heredity, excuse me, inheritance is the practice of pass passing something on. So if you had... Um, grandparents that have passed away, you might have inherited something from them. It could be um, money or something special, a piece of jewelry. Um, you also inherit traits from them, characteristics. They could be physical traits, um, traits that you can see or observe, or they could be more personality traits, things that you're apt um, to etc. So whenever we reproduce, we're passing on our genes, our DNA, to the next generation. And inherited traits are, again, just the specific characteristics that we have inherited from our parents, grandparents, our ancestors, okay? And some examples are hair, skin, eye color, hair type, whether it's curly or straight, finger and toe length, which is something you'd never really think about, like, oh, I inherited my funky, long, big toe from my grandfather. Dimples, freckles, um, your body type, how tall you are, how short you are, hand dominance, whether you're left or right-handed, um, the shape of your ears, mathematical aptitude, uh, susceptibility to certain diseases like color blindness, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, and the list goes on. So why do we look like our parents and maybe grandparents and great-grandparents? Well, we are made from sexual reproduction which requires two parents. And we learned about that previously in a different unit. So 50% of our genes comes from each parent. That means that there's genetic um, diversity or variation because we're getting a mixed set of genes. So inside our bodies, we have cells just got done learning about cells, and these cells contain chromosomes. If you remember, the nucleus of the cell contains all of the genetic material. Um, those chromosomes that are held within the nucleus, here's a nucleus in a cell right here, those chromosomes, they look like butterfly wings almost, they contain genes. And there's a straight hair gene or a curly hair gene, blue eye gene, brown eye gene. Okay, that's how we get our traits. And they're made up of DNA. Okay, so here are chromosomes located inside of a cell. And zooming into one chromosome, you can see that there is all of this stuff twisted up. Okay, if you pull that twisted up material, that's actually your DNA, okay? And a segment of DNA makes up a gene. 
it's, it's pretty complicated, as are most topics we learn in science. And that's why we're going to spend today just exploring DNA and learning a little bit about it. I'm going to let Bill Nye explain DNA in one minute. Right now. Enjoy. Ever had someone say to you, it's in your genes. You weren't talking about your pants. Ha! No. They meant you were born that way. It's in your genes. Now, genes tell your cells what to do. Like, you, you're a stomach cell. You, you're a brain cell. You, you're going to have brown eyes and a big nose. Now, genes are made of DNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid. What? Deoxyribonucleic acid. What? Deoxyribonucleic acid. Okay. DNA molecules are very long molecules that have chemicals on them in a sequence, in a special order. Now, parts of DNA molecules are what we call genes. Now, DNA molecules are packed in your cells in something called chromosomes. Now, humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes. You get 23 from your mom and 23 from your dad. That's uh, um, 46. 46. Uh -huh. Now, all plant and animal cells have chromosomes. They have different numbers depending on which plant or animal you're dealing with. DNA is pretty cool when you think about it. In fact, thinking's in your genes, too. Okay, thanks, Bill Nye. So to break down DNA a little bit further, DNA actually stands for deoxyribonucleic acid much easier to just refer to it as DNA. And DNA is the genetic material that carries information about an organism and is passed from parent to offspring. So we get 50% of our genes from one parent and 50% from another parent. And we're going to talk about how those um, traits actually get chosen for. My parents are both right-handed, but my sister and I are both left-handed. So how did we become left-handed? We had to have gotten the gene from someone in our family. So we'll learn about that. Um, and if you look at the diagram, you can see that DNA is that famous double helix shape that you've probably seen somewhere before. And that each rung on the ladder, because it looks like a ladder, is made of, of base pairs. The base pairs can either be adenine and thymine bonded together. They're two different types of chemical molecules. And guanine and cytosine are the other base pair. And then the backbone or the sides of the DNA ladder are made up of a sugar phosphate backbone. All right, so I'm going to stop here. And you just have to answer a few questions that show that you watch the videos. And uh, besides this video, there is a video breaking down DNA a little bit further. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a nice day.